Hi. <clears throat> Monica Dina Huppert's here. Whole Heart Energy Healing. Welcome to day 21 of your stairway to sovereignty, foregoing fears for freedom. We're talking about the dreaded F word, fear. We're facing it and tossing fear out on its rear, giving you freedom and placing you in a fun and fabulous new year. Fear serves a purpose. It is intended to get our attention, a messenger. Yet once the issue at hand has your attention, feeling fear is no longer helpful. In fact, it's harmful. It's now time to take action and take a different direction instead of staying in its tight grip. We're taking on a challenge to recognize how fears in our thoughts, ideas, our attitudes, and beliefs can negatively control how we think, act, and feel. We're making fear work for us instead of thinking it's against us. So instead of shooting the messenger, we're paying attention to the message so we can course correct and carry on. When we try or are forced to forgive before we're ready, before having had a chance to process the anger, the hate, the resentment or revenge fantasies, it weighs on our mind and leads to having fearful feelings. Forgiving won't wipe away the pain of what's happened and grant immediate peace. It's decision to heal wounds and deciding that life isn't going to be miserable because of what happened. Forgiving means being finally ready to take back your personal power, no longer allowing what happened to define or diminish us any longer. Well, that's what we talked about yesterday. So while it may be at time difficult to forgive others for what they've done to us, it's almost commonplace for us not to forgive ourselves for what we've done or not done as well. Today's episode deals with this fear and is titled Regrets. I've had a few. Okay, well, it's bizarre and almost funny how we can get so offended and angry when others have hurt us and yet continually choose to torture ourselves far worse than they ever possibly could. We often do this through repeated mental hashing. That's the feeling I'll never forgive myself. If I choose option A and option B was better, then I'll just hate myself. Sound familiar? The driving force behind this behavior is your fear of regret which often makes you stay within the status quo, even if reasoning or, in, or intuition says you shouldn't. It's a habit that's well within our comfort zone. For example, you may be willing to sell an asset at a loss because you'll have to admit that you made a mistake in buying it in the first place. So holding on to the asset, therefore, allows you to avoid experiencing the regret for the time being. How many times have you thought about starting up something, taking a year off to explore something, or leaving a loveless relationship, but you end up doing nothing about it? A fear of regret, which is a powerful driver of maintaining the status quo in our lives, may be to blame. What's really needed here is to let go of the fear of regret. Regret is an emotion that does prepare us to learn. Without regret, we can't learn from our slip-ups. Oftentimes, we need this painful stimulus to avoid repeating the same error again and again. The fear of regret can be worse than regret itself. So how can we avoid it? Well, when they're making decisions about a relationship or about which ballot to cast, people are willing to do a lot 
to avoid regret. Doing so can exact a heavy price on us, though. I wouldn't forgive myself if... Fear of regret is a central element in my own decision-making process, as it is for most of us. Just thinking about how many times you avoided accepting a new job, starting a new connection, or opening your own business out of fear that you may never forgive yourself for making the wrong choice. You see, fear of regret influences decisions in many areas of our lives. However, there are two areas where it comes into play most often, money, and relationships. A classic example is our tendency to stick with losing investments. Exiting with a loss is synonymous to paying cash in, cur in the currency of regret. It's an admission of fault. Waiting, however, defers the payment of regret to the future, and perhaps by a miracle may also cancel it altogether. At least that's the hope. Similarly, this happens when we refuse to give up on a relationship or a line of work, even after it's made clear that it's doomed to fail. After all, we've already invested a lot of time and effort here. The saying, pride goeth before a fall, are words many of us know and have ingrained within us. When was the last time you asked yourself, what if, without your fear of regret leading the conversation? What if I make a mistake? What if this is the wrong choice? What if I give up? What if I stay the course? Regret is a powerful force that can either have you stay with status quo that's not serving you, or propel you to make the leap into an unknown and not guaranteed future. Let go of this weight and allow yourself a better chance of becoming who you really want to be. We can all do that. The crazy thing about regret is that it seems imperative sometimes, as if you have to indulge it. But really, there's nothing compelling to stay and stew over the way things could have been. The only thing that keeps you stuck in lost possibilities is the refusal to focus on new ones. Life is now. You always have a choice. Do you drown in regret over what never came to be? Do you use your energy to create what can be? As for me, I'm choosing the latter at least most of the time. Just like many of you, I too can choose to succumb to fears of my own making. That's why I choose to enlist the help of family and friends and others who I feel are a good fit to help me. They can help me achieve my goals. I can be there for you too, if you'll let me. If you're still feeling overwhelmed by this type of fear, book a session with me. And together, we'll kick keep your fear out on its rear with restorative techniques to help you heal. I'm putting together some courses that will make healing and achieving your goals faster, easier, and more efficient. You deserve a more balanced, fear-free, and happier life. Message me for more information. I hope that you're supported during this quest and can find someone to go along with you on your journey. Let's do this together. Together is better. Use the link below that I'll post in a moment called Getting to Know You, and we'll explore what you want to achieve in life and move forward into a happier way of being. Monica Dina Hupper, it's a whole heart energy healing. This has been day 21 of your Stairway to Sovereignty, forgoing fears for freedom. So you can get a new year, a new decade, and a new you off to a freeing and abundant new start. 
When I'm fearful and feeling scared, I feel much better when I'm prepared and I fall asleep counting my blessings. If you're worried and cannot sleep, just count your blessings instead of she and you'll fall asleep counting your blessings <clears throat> sorry about that cheers to your success oh and today's challenge share one brave big or small regret that you've had i'll see you later on bye bye Oh, and thank you for Linus for joining. I hope you enjoyed it, Linus. Do take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.